pattern size. So when we go up and choose a hatch pattern and we pick an internal point, our default hatch pattern size is one. So here we have our hatch pattern size. So this is good for typically things that are one to one. Um, but if we go up to our hatch pattern size and we're making things that are very large, for example, and we put in too small of a hatch pattern, it turns to be a blob or a solid uh, pattern. It's hard to even see the pattern. So we can come in here and change the scale factor and change it to larger numbers. So if I was doing a two to one doubled scale, I'd come in here and put that down as far as a hatch pattern. If I was drawing a scale uh, drawing of 3 to 1 or 4 to 1, I could come up and change the scale factor to 4 to 1, let's say. So if I'm doing 4 to 1, whoop, sorry, um, I can pick here, and there's 4 to 1 then. So it's four times bigger than the normal scale. And so we really need to do this when we draw larger things such as, you know, homes and things. We can't use a default pattern of one. It'll just print a solid uh, ink down. It won't have a visible pattern. So you have to adjust the appropriate hatch size in this area here. And this will remain there um, to the last size that you used. And one is the default value. And so one is the values for architectural, um, but for a lot of the others, we're going to have to manually scale this up using our hatch pattern scale.